What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have the Gemini Jets November 2024 releases for you all. I hope all of you are excited for today's video. Very eager to see what these November 2024 releases are looking like. As we move into the holiday season, this is usually a really good time for a bunch of really cool aircraft. So again, really excited to see what this is all about. And I hope all of you are excited for this as well. We're just not going to waste any further time. I'm excited to see this today and I hope all of you are as well. That being said, here we go for the November 2024 releases. American A321neo to kick it off. Very good start this November 413 Alpha November. So this is now the third Gemini Jets release, which is fantastic. And it's awesome to continue to, you know, expand upon these aircraft. Now we did get one in July of 23, so a pretty fast turnaround. But this aircraft is very popular, and I believe the previous one already sold out. So again, great to see it. I'll definitely get one just to continue to enhance that fleet. But I would like to see NG do one too. But Gemini doing their part, and that's their third release now. So you can see the color on it too, and continuing to add that mainline presence to the American Airlines fleet. So never going to complain about that. That's awesome. Nice start there in the American sector. And an American Dash 8 100 to really complement that well. Interesting. And I believe it was the same release in July of 23 when they did the Piedmont Dash 8. So really kind of going for the theme here. But anyway, November 808 Echo, uh, Echo, yeah, Echo X-Ray is the registration. This is pretty cool and a nice throwback. Obviously would have been a little bit more appropriate during the Dash 8 era. But hey, this is still a great release, kind of kicking it back a little bit. And I think this will be a very good aircraft for everybody that's interested in this one. I'll also get one just to continue to complement the fe fleet there well and definitely an interesting one. I'm just kind of surprised not an American Eagle title on that, but regardless of the case, this is another good release, and I think it certainly will prove powerful regarding the American Airlines landscape in one of the 400. So we continue to get more releases of aircraft that are, you know, modern retirees. So pretty cool to see that, but overall looking nice and definitely getting that July 23 feel. So we'll see if we have some Deltas or United to go with it here in a little bit. The next aircraft is going to be Atlas Air 747-8F, this November 863 Golf Tango, and this is the final 747, so cool to see this after the previous, or the same aircraft got done by multiple manufacturers. So yeah, really cool to see this, the Apex logistics titles are pretty interesting, but cool to have the interactive aspect along with the sticker up there on the front. So I think this will once again be a very popular offering there in the 1 to 400 scale, and we certainly know what we've seen, Gemini Jets enhancing their aircraft lineups from flaps down to interactive series no doubt another really great example here and i think there will be a purpose for anybody interested in this aircraft so very cool to see that right there another very good release to say the least there's the Delta. This time it's going to be an Airbus A350-900. I think this is like their fourth or fifth one in this November 503 Delta November. So we're definitely getting the big time throwback, you know, releases regarding not throwback, but you know, you know, re-releasing aircraft that we know are very popular. So here's another one right here. And I think it's definitely going to be another helpful offering. It's been a while and I'm really eager to see how this will look with the enhanced features on the Airbus A350 that we know now. It has been a while since they've done one. So I think they're going to do a good job. I think their 350 mold is definitely solid. So they'll be be no shortage of delight for that release and for anybody interested in it so very cool to see that one there and another delta e350 done we got a FedEx 7773, or sorry, 777 Freighter, November 895 Foxtrot Delta, and this is the revised delivery, so I don't think it has Express, I think it's just FedEx, which I did see my first 757 of this recently, which I honestly think this looks nice. It's just nice and bold and kind of out there. So personally, I do think that it's, you know, I could argue it's an improvement, but I think both are fine, but kind of like this big, bold text. Anyway, though, definitely nice to see this, and I'll be eager to see how these roll in, but definitely very exciting to see this right here, and I think it looks quite nice. It's nice, simple, plain, you know, can't ever grab about you know the plane aspect of all this so it looks very nice another really great release right there here in the one to 400 scale KLMA 321 Neo. That was an extremely fast turnaround time. Papa Hotel Alpha X-ray Alpha. So if you don't know, KLM got these into their fleet, I think just a little under two months ago or so. So really awesome to see that they already got the release out. So huge thumbs up to them in that. And we do see some other manufacturers producing this popular plane as well. I'm definitely tempted by this. I think it would look great at New Forest. And you know, it's just a beautiful livery, man. And special memories to go along with Amsterdam and what goes on there for KLM. So definitely a good looking aircraft there and definitely will have to be on the considering level so looking very nice right there and another very quality offering i think many european collectors will be happy to see gemini jets getting their say on that particular aircraft so that's awesome to see right there and it should be a pretty nice one we got a westjet q400 in this charlie foxtrot oscar echo november so another very nice looking aircraft right here for encore so i believe yeah this was in one to 200 last month so the prediction of this coming to one the 400 was accurate so great to see this and i think it'll prove powerful i don't see an encore title so i don't know if that's just the new livery how it is or if it's just actual westjet mainline 
line at this point. Regardless of the case though, I think this will be a nice aircraft and excited to see what it's all about. And it looks pretty nice. So really eager to see how it turns out and definitely will be a powerful release for all of our Canadian collectors. So definitely getting some nice variety in this release. I'm definitely liking it. And then we also got the Winro E2, the first E190 E2 here in the 1 to 400 scale to be our last 1 to 400 release. And it's Lima November Whiskey Echo Alpha. So another very nice looking aircraft right there. And overall proven quite powerful. We love the phone calls. But anyway, this is the E190 E2, the first E190 E2 to conclude our 1 to 400s, which is another nice release here. I love the stubby antennas and it's definitely a really cool aircraft and awesome to see this footprint into the European sector. And hopefully we'll see more of this as we move into the US sector and other you know continents as well so with that being said that is the win the 400 set pretty standard you know just really middle of the pack this is exactly about what i would have expected for a month like this after so many hot months in a row i think it's solid i think there's plenty of buying opportunity if you want to and plenty of saving opportunity as well none of these are just going to fly off the shelf no pun intended but i do think there's popular offerings to be had out of that group we do also have a gemini max aircraft for our military friends and that's going to be a couple actually so starting with the royal australian air force 737 max 8 bbj this is probably going to be a cool one and yeah i really like the scheme of that that's really nice with that gold trim right there so definitely a big positive or a maroon color on that rather i think that looks really nice and great to continue to get that australian air force representation here so this is definitely a good aircraft and very happy to see that you got the stubby wi-fi boxes and all that too and the door unique so yeah that's all very nice and i think that's going to be a very popular aircraft so definitely great to get some representation there for our friends in australia and we also got a wright patterson air force base c-17 globemaster which is another very popular air force base so i think this one definitely makes sense and continuing to get all that variety out there for all the collectors that really like that particular military based emphasis on particular offerings so definitely happy to see that and that concludes our 1 to 400 releases which are really solid let's go dive into our 1 to 200s and see possibly what we have coming up and what we have coming to 1 to 400 in the future starting with the alaska honoring those who serve max 8 this was expected november 806 alpha kilo so great to see this a couple months ago in 1 to 400 now we got here in the 1 to 200 scale will be a nice deal in the alaska company store and continues to prove powerful for all collectors that are interested in the honoring those who serve landscape and quite a uh, fitting time for veterans day so happy early veterans day to everyone so definitely a really solid release right there Azul E190, I believe this is new. Papa Sierra Alpha Echo Hotel. So great to get the E2 previously, and this actually looks like an E2. So this might be the 1 to 400 coming up to 1 to 200, just a typo, which makes a little bit more sense. I would love to see them do a 190 for Azul. I think that would be cool. But anyway, regardless of the case, continuing to get some South America representation, I think is extremely important. Despite less collectors there, their collecting ship is still very important, or whatever word's proper there. So yeah, awesome to see that E2, and that will definitely be another powerful release. So very happy to see that. Here's a Cubana ATR42500. I think the uniqueness of this is definitely noteworthy. Charlie Uniform Tango 1240. So a very unique town number. So yeah, like I said, very cool. They've done some really unique Cabana aircraft. We got the Antonov 26 previously, and now we got this one. So I think the unique element here is definitely appreciated. And I think Gemini, if they continue to get this really good balance of popularity, various geographies and then obviously the unique aircraft as well i think it's really going to prove powerful as they continue to go into the future so definitely a nice release right here and i think this definitely checks the boxes for all of what we assess that's very nice Delta MD 90 colors in motion, making it up. It's 910 Delta November. Great release there, and I think that's quite fitting. That's going to be a very popular offering for all of our colors in motion collectors. Definitely a nice release right here, and I think that many collectors will enjoy this with the enhanced engines and obviously different features and functionality that you don't see on the MD 88. So great to see that in a very popular release right there coming to the 1 to 200 scale. We do have the Discover E330 coming up to 1 to 200 Delta Alpha India Kilo Kilo. So a bunch of 1 to 400s now making their way, but Discover, a very nice subsidiary there of Lufthansa. So definitely going to prove powerful and it's a really cool airline and what they do and where they fly and all that. So definitely excited to see more and more of that as we move into the future with them. Then we have an Emirates. This is the Airbus A380 in the NBA livery, which is really nice. Alpha 6 Echo Oscar Delta. So great to see this in 1 to 200. I think this will be very enjoyable for many collectors, but I think it's really cool to see Emirates partnering with a US you know, corporation being the NBA here. So definitely a nice livery, and I think that one will prove powerful. So very nice to see that. It looks really cool. 
And then we have a Cotter Cargo Boeing 777 Freighter Interactive. So finally an aircraft that wasn't a 1 to 400. It's Alpha 7 Bravo Foxtrot Tango. Nice looking aircraft here and it's definitely popular among many collectors in various regions. It flies all around the world. So I think this is a really good release right here. And I think this one will be another popular offering among many collectors. So very happy to see that. That's really cool. And we also have a LAN, or Lackland Air Force Base C5 Super Galaxy, which is great. I really want to get one of these, but I believe we had this in one the 400 previously. Wonderful to see here in one 200. These aircraft are so cool. This actually might have been the one I saw at the, it was the Wings Over Houston Air Show, which was really cool. So very similar regardless of the case. So great to see this model here. It's 850009. So another very popular aircraft right there getting assessed, which is great. And here's the Rinro Q400. We saw one to 400 previously, now one 200. It's Lima November Whiskey Delta and Mike. So very happy to see this aircraft. And it's cool to get the, you know, these various airlines, you know, kind of getting a little bit of a streak going for them. We saw that with Cuban in the last couple months. And then Rinro obviously getting two aircraft pretty much done back to back here. So I think it's cool to just go on these little stints and give some collectors, you know, they did that with the Breeze aircraft too. So kind of cool to see that. And I'll be eager to see if they do more of that in the future. And that is it, or sorry, we actually have a GA aircraft. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 172 offering. We have a Cessna 172 M Skyhawk. It's 46418 and it is actually private, which they don't do many private ones. So that's really cool. So not sure. Uh, let me get a supplemental screen here. Let me see if I can find any additional information on this particular one since we don't have much. So this appears to be just a flat out private Cessna, which is very cool to see. Getting into any details, let's see. So it appears that the owner is Basquer. I'm not exactly sure if that's how it's said, but anyway, it just did a flight around the Alabama area a few days ago, 27 October was when that was. So yeah, really cool to get an actual private Cessna. Huge props to the Gemini for expanding to different sectors. And you know, I kind of like the generic aspect too. So it's really cool that they, you know, are zoning into this and finding opportunities to do private aircraft like that. So I think it's huge and definitely adds a really unique sector that we haven't quite seen in the GA landscape. We've seen a bunch of house, we've seen a bunch of, you know, flight schools and whatnot, but we've definitely not seen, you know, private Cessnas. So very cool to see that and hope to see even more of that on Cirruses and other companies going forward. So that's a huge positive as we move into the future. Okay, so getting into the release, I could definitely see some collectors saying underwhelming, which is definitely validated, but you know, you gotta keep some balance here. And I think the symbol will definitely get back to that popular US landscape. As of for November, I think this is good. Obviously, some pretty typical standard re-releases with the American 321 Neo, Delta A350, uh, Enhanced FedEx 777, and then, you know, obviously the WestJet Dust 8 with the revised livery and Atlas. So kind of, you know, similar vibes there. We do have some new aircraft, though, which are huge, including the Dash 8 for American Airlines. We also have the KLM A321 Neo in Ride Row E190 E2. So I definitely think those are huge new releases. As of for me, I'm definitely interested in the American 321 Neo, the Dash 8 for American as well. And then I definitely have interest in some sort of KLM 321 Neo from some manufacturer. It might be the Gemini, we'll see, but it's a great looking aircraft regardless. So great on Gemini for getting that done so fast. I think that's a huge props. I also think the WestJet's a nice oddball there too. So definitely won't rule that out along with any of the others that may come around. I also think the military aircraft are really cool as well. I really like that 737 MAX 8 BBJ, which I might be wrong, but that might be the first MAX 8 military aircraft they've done. So very cool to see that. As if for a 1 to 200s, it is a nice variety here, and I think this will definitely prove powerful. There's no data plane for everybody, and there's definitely a good variety here between the metro, retro, modern aspects, and, you know, unique planes among the other subdivisions that we've talked about previously. So definitely a good variety here, and I think there's certainly a plane for everybody. If they would have put one cargo in here, it would have been pretty much... Well, they did. They put Cotter cargo, so yeah, I can't even say that. So yeah, they literally hit every section here, plus the Cessna. Don't let me forget about the Cessna. That's just as big as any of those. So they literally hit every section in the 1 to 200 scale and 172. So I definitely think the well-rounded diversity there was very much appreciated. And they did do a great job in 1 to 400 diversity-wise with cargo, military, all that as well, where we see the Atlas, we also have the FedEx, and then we obviously have two military. So I really like the variety of this release. I think it's huge and definitely gives every collector that has a you know niche a place to go in this release. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know which ones you are interested in. I would love to hear any thoughts and opinions and you know just overall criteria. I could definitely 
see the slower remarks coming. But once again, there are some good ones here, and I think this is a good time to save up a little bit. Admittingly, I'd like to as well. I'm still a little bit behind on some Gemini releases that I need to get. I also have the NGs that will be coming out in the coming days, so stay on the lookout for that release reaction here on my channel in the few next coming days, as those should be out in a day or two. So excited to cover those, along with more new releases coming soon, so stay on the lookout for all of those. But nevertheless, that'll do it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and one of you for watching. My name is Roger of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Just process. Do you love and love you do. My name is Roger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Roger of Aviation is signing off.